AAA estimates 37 million people will be on the road this weekend for Memorial Day travel, an increase from last year. And as more people hit the road, leaders are urging people to drive responsibly. According to the National Safety Council, 40% of deadly crashes over Memorial Day weekend involved a driver under the influence in 2021. And tonight, 10 Tampa Bay Shannon Close spoke to those who loved, lost loved ones because of drunk driving with an important plea. He was killed on impact. I remember every detail of that night. Sharon Hall has suffered in unimaginable grief. You know, who has those conversations with their children about how they would like to be handled if they are killed. From an unforgettable day. September 5th, 2008. That's the day her 26-year-old son, Lewis, was in a car with a co-worker on the Selman Expressway when the driver crashed. Losing a child is... It's just unbelievable unless you've experienced it. Sharon says the driver had been speeding and drinking. The driver was, uh, I believe, 0.14. Sharon is now a part of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Matt says the number of people dying because of impaired driving continues to increase since the pandemic. In 2021, there were more than 6,000 impairment crashes. 1,210 people died. More than 3,000 people were seriously injured. The impact is unbelievable. I don't wish this future on anybody. Football coach Chris Miller feels her pain after his beloved player, 17-year-old Sophie DeLott, was hit and killed on her bike by a drunk driver on the Indian Rocks Causeway in 2019. There are no words. It's the worst feeling. Coach Miller tells me Sophie was the only girl on the football team at Seminole High School. Sophie was a light. She brought light out. She made people happy by her presence. She had just joined the Marines, a teenager with so many goals. Two minutes of just pre-planning could prevent disaster. Tonight, this coach and this mother want you to remember every single one of the 1,210 killed by drunk driving was a person who was loved. Let your loved ones know every day that you love them because we are not guaranteed a tomorrow. For 10 Tampa Bay, I'm Shannon Clo. As we speak, law enforcement officers are outperforming a DUI operation. It's likely you'll see more of that across the Tampa Bay area throughout the weekend.